Launching all these rockets is a waste. Why are we spending taxpayer dollars to have people do flips on the ISS? Why spend money in space when there's problems here on Earth? These are actual questions I've been asked by people who messaged me on their phone, which, by the way, uses technology from space. Surely you've heard of Tang, Velcro, and LEDs all coming from space, right? Wrong. Only one of those comes from spaceflight. Which one? Stick around to find out. But first, thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. More on them later. The official term for these products are spin-offs, and for decades, NASA has been publishing a list of everything that's derived from space tech. So let's pretend we're astronauts going to the ISS. The first and one of the most obvious spin-offs you'll encounter is memory foam. It's really common to find on beds, as pillows, and as toppers. In fact, those commercials where they're jumping up and down on the bed and the wine doesn't spill, that's memory foam. The real reason for its design is to help astronauts on launch and landing. The ride to space and re-entry can place three or four Gs against an astronaut's body, sometimes even more. The memory foam was meant to absorb some of that force so you're leaning against something soft as opposed to a hard metal seat. So once a spacecraft is in orbit and getting ready to dock to the ISS, it deploys a special radar that can be used for pinpoint guidance. That way, Spacecraft, like Crew Dragon, can dock autonomously and hit the target dead on. What if I told you that's the basics for LASIK eye surgery? Well, it is. That same laser technology is now being used to help millions of people around the globe regain their sight. All right, so you've docked to the space station. Now you're really thirsty and want a drink. Unlike Earth, where there's plenty of water, on the ISS, all of the water needs to be sent up by resupply crafts. And it turns out, water's got a lot of mass. And that takes away from other items that can fit in a resupply ship, like clothes, oranges, and gorilla suits. Yes, that actually happened. So on the station, they have a water recycling system for all kinds of liquids. That includes sweat and yes, even urine. Yeah. Maybe gross sounding, but the resulting water is super clean. So now that same technology is being used in our water filters right here on Earth. Not only making tap water cleaner, but especially allowing people in rural areas across the globe the ability to purify even the dirtiest water to drink. Are you hungry? How about some lettuce? A few years ago, astronauts on the ISS created the first vegetable garden in space which will be super important for longer space flights like trips to Mars. One trick they found was using different colored LED lights, a technology already derived from space, affected how well the plants grew. It turns out that's not the only thing they found out. Those LEDs are now being used in a handheld high density unit that can treat tumors. Spacewalk time. We're all suited up and close and lock our visors before leaving the airlock. When you're floating alone in the vastness of space, you need to be able to see where you're going. And even a small scratch can make that tricky. Heck, even a scratch on your car windshield can feel the same way. To prevent this, Foster Grant, yes, the glasses company, came up with a special scratch-resistant glass for use on spacesuit helmets. And wouldn't you know, it can also be used on glasses here on Earth. So. Next time your keys accidentally scratch up against your glasses, it's NASA tech that's keeping them crystal clear. So now we're out of the station and doing our spacewalk. To attach something to the ISS, you grab a cordless power tool since there's no outlets outside. Turns out Black & Decker came up with that solution. It actually goes back to Apollo when astronauts were collecting core samples from the surface of the moon. So they needed something to suck them up and that's when they created the cordless vacuum on the moon. It now has a name you may be familiar with here on Earth, the Dust Buster. Following that success came the miniaturization and wirelessness, if that's a word, of different kinds of power tools for use in space. 
many of which are now also likely in your garage. Speaking of powerful tools, thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Brilliant.org is the best way to learn about different math and science topics, and it's all interactive. If you're interested in a career in aerospace, or even just to better understand the world around you, Brilliant can help. Brilliant has thousands of lessons, including one related to this video. While we're talking about the everyday items developed from space tech, why not learn about how some of those devices really work? There's a great course about the physics of every day. You can learn about the workings of refrigerators, nuclear reactors, and even water contamination, which the solution, as we mentioned, comes from space. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash NASA Space Flight or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Now, back to more spinoffs. Mission Control is keeping track of what's happening during the spacewalk using cameras mounted all around the ISS and even really small cameras inside the astronauts' helmets. Did you know those helmet cams are part of the reason why your phone can take such high quality pictures. It all comes down to a sensor called CMOS, the original Complementary Metal Oxide Semiconductors, yes, NASA loves their acronyms, were designed for interplanetary spacecraft. Unlike the old image systems, CMOS are integrated into a single chip, which consumes 100 times less power. That means Less power draw, meaning you can fit more and more cameras into, let's say, a smartphone. While we're talking about interplanetary spin-offs, did you know your car tires are using technology from the Viking lander on Mars? Well, it is. Goodyear was tasked with creating a material that could be used in parachute shrouds to help the lander touch down safely on the red planet. What they came up with ended up being five times stronger than steel. Seeing how strong it was, Goodyear thought, why not add these into car tires? As a result, the company says tires can now travel 10,000 miles farther than older models. As we study stars and deep space and exoplanets around them, we've been trying to find out if life could exist on other planets. What an important factor for determining the possibility of life is finding the temperature of these bodies. I mean, you can't stick a thermometer in a star's mouth and get a reading, so, these space-based telescopes used an infrared device to determine how hot these stars are. Turns out, your ears also emit heat that can be read by an infrared thermometer. Nowadays, these have become very common in everyday in-ear and forehead thermometers, especially after a certain event in 2020 that we can't name or else we would get demonetized, meant a lot more temp checks. We can't forget about some of the more obvious items that are space-based and helping us right here on Earth. While astronaut ice cream isn't actually eaten in space, sorry to break some people's hearts out there, the technology behind it is. A lot of astronaut food is freeze-dried, which helps take up less space and mass aboard a supply ship and helps keep food fresh longer. Originally meant for astronauts, we see plenty of freeze-dried foods right here on Earth. Solar panels designed to power spacecraft and space stations are now much more commonplace. In fact, many people have mounted them on their roof and use them to power their homes and their electric cars. It's much better for the environment than other power generators like coal. Need to know where to go? The Global Positioning Satellite, or GPS network, was launched to help track military assets on the ground. Now, it can tell you traffic on your way to work and help you find your air tag that's on your phone that you swore you'd never lose but somehow did. Totally not from experience here or anything. And here's one you might not realize is in your home right now. Do any of you have a brass finish on your sinks or door handles? That, believe it or not, is from space. NASA created special surface coating materials for use in items as large as fighter jets and as small as microchips. That same technology allows manufacturers to put on a thin bronze finish to accent your open floor plan or whatever they say on those real estate shows. These are just a few of the thousands of spin-offs from space travel. And who knows what we'll see next from both NASA and private companies like SpaceX. I do want to point something out. According to 2020 numbers, NASA received $22.6 billion. While it sounds like a lot, that's less than half of 1% of the entire federal budget that year. 
For comparison, the defense budget was $714 billion. Billion with a B. And with that comparatively small budget, these technologies are already paying for themselves. In 2021, NASA generated more than $71.2 billion in total economic output. So next time someone asks you, why spend all this money in space? It turns out it ends up right back here on Earth. Did we miss any spinoffs? Which one surprised you the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Once again, thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. I'm Sawyer Rosenstein. Later, nerds.